Hi uh, guys, uh, back again, and I'm going again. Now, now I'm back again with more rubbish all over the house. I've got to tidy up, you know. Right, I took the figure out, got prepared, didn't brush it. Uh, there we go, that's the box for Ray Stance, the Ghostbuster figure box. It's like a Marvel Select box. Uh, there's a great picture and the Ghostbusters logo in the background. Love that picture, it's so cool. Get a magazine. I've had a look at the magazine, uh, well, the little paper thing. It didn't really much mention of other figures, it's just a stay puffed in some like little figures and other stuff. So, I don't know. I'll, hang on, I've got a copy of it. I'll get it out and show it later in the video. But that's the uh, cup front, that's the back. Bit of synopsis on, uh, you know, Ray being a physicist and a genius and, and all the other stuff about him. Which is quite interesting. There's the other two figures, we've done them. So that's that, that's that figure, that's the box. Right, hang on, oh, there they all fell off the floor then. Right, uh, with this figure, again, you get eight pairs of hands like gloves and hands. Radio, stream, his night shade, night, night goggles. Let's go this way. As you can see, honestly, you get a lot for this. You know what I mean? So that's everything there, which I'm not going to take out. It belongs. I'm going to have to start preparing. I need more room. I'm going to have to move house again. Yeah. Right. So let's go on to the the base. This is the base. I built the base again. This the size of it is big. That's the base. Got two of these bases with two of the figures and a table with a Lewis Tully. So, you know, I mean, if this is, I mean, by, what from what I'm figuring out, when I put the three together tonight, it's going to be quite big. Do you know what I mean? So there you go. I mean, that is some base. It is big, guys. Right, so that's the base. Right, let's get on to the figure itself. Right, first off, I can't wait for Egon to come out. You know, the Egon figure and the Bill Murray, Venkman. You know, I watched this film with a friend, you know, and he'd never seen Ghostbusters before. And Well, he had it in the 80s. He watched it and he didn't get it. And I thought to myself, what, you've watched one of the greatest, most funniest films with dark humour. This It's such a film with everything in it and you didn't get it. He just said, oh, it's an old film. I give up. So, anyway, move on from that. Back to the review. Uh, this is Ray Stance. That's the first cup. Okay, it looks really good. Dan O'Croy definitely. He, he pulls these amazing innocent expressions in, 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 in wake of disasters, which is just amazing. And it just has it in stitches. Do you know what I mean? So that's the first. That's Yeah, the head don't fully. Yeah, it twi yeah, it's a bit of a tight twist, but you know, it's probably because of all this here. And but when he when he when he turns his head, it's like he's pulling like he has got that expression that touch of it which is beautiful so we've got the front his overalls the detail and the creases everything look marvelous the yellow that going down in the trousers the power pack and all the rest of it the label love of, of course the iconic uh, Ghostbusters signature stunning uh, skateboarding pads uh, yeah, let's have a look under the feet. Yeah, you can uh, buy stands for these guys and stand them on, which is cool. Uh, let's go around that side. Yeah, right. The articulation on the other on the lowest Tully figure are really good, but the on the arms it seems let's right. It seems the pads seem to oh well they don't. Yeah, it does move a bit, but it is. It's, it's how you move the pads, so and it, it's not they're not moving very much on this arm, so I'm gonna have to mess about with that later. So have a look at the legs. Yeah, yeah, but it is a bit stiff to move, but I'm not too bothered. We can work around that. Uh, the hands, you like I said, the hands just pull out and change them. There we go. Look. I mean, all in all, fantastic figure. I, I don't care. 
if it is a bit stiff to move or whatever. I mean, look, once you've got these set on the base and you get them right, just fucking right like a bottle of champ, like a bottle of wine. Once they're spot on, these are going to be marvellous. Do you know what I mean? So glad finally got a, a wave of Ghostbusters figures. Because like the other waves that came out a couple of years ago, they're very expensive now. And and, and when uh, I mean just for the four of them, mate, it cost the fucking fortune. So this time, bang, I were in there. So there you go. As you can see, I mean honestly, just the 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 quality of the sheer detail of these figures is superb. I am very happy with them. Even his hair, there's no, you don't need to do any alterations, anything, just brilliant, perfect, well worth the money spent. I am a very happy dude today. So, look, we're going up. Anyway, on to the proton pack. Look at the detailing on that. I mean, all of it's there. The accelerator, everything's brilliant, isn't it? The little paint jobs. Uh, we have the wand. Do you know what I mean? You know, so that, that just fits on at the end of there. You know what I mean? Just click it on. Well, no, you just push this like tube on and it all fits on. So, I mean, yeah, it's super. Uh, look at the side. God, I love them proton packs. Let me know what you think of the new film when it comes out, guys. I've done a couple of videos on the trailer. Wasn't too impressed. It's not about because they're all females. Do you know what I mean? I ain't got a problem who's in it. It's just getting... The start, the, that humour right with it, do you know what I mean? Ghostbusters, they're not even made in the 80s, but it's still a timeless movie. It goes beyond its time. Do you know what I mean? Any generation, if you get Ghostbusters, then, you know, you've got everything else in life. It's one of them things, Ghostbusters, it, it's a real ride. It's an experience. So there you go. Uh, that's my uh, race dance figure review. Do you know what I mean? I'm just so fucking ecstatic. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to have to put all that set together, bin all the boxes. It's going to take 10 minutes to do all that, so that's it. But that's my review of Ray Stan's Ghostbusters figure. Absolutely excited about it. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Please sub and share. Thanks. All right, guys, have a great Sunday.